So normally, normally I would throw my, my Dolphins jersey on, the hat. I don't got the energy for it after this. I got my sweatshirt on, full of dog hair because Ellie was on, on me during the whole, the whole game there. Um, in 1993, Dan Marino got hurt, Cleveland, Louis Achilles. Scott Mitchell came in, looked pretty good. People said we should trade Marino because Mitchell looked so good. Then he got hurt. Then Doug Peterson actually came in, led the team to... At least one victory, because I know he was the starting quarterback um, when Shula got 325. And then he got hurt, and then it was his 40-whatever-year-old uh, Steve DeBerg the rest of the season. And uh, we, were, we got to 9-2, and two, and, and then we didn't win another game, and, and we finished 9-7 to seven out of the playoffs. And up until... Now, that was the worst collapse that I had witnessed. We've witnessed some collapses, but that was the worst one. Um, I, I don't even know where to start with this, because there's, there's monumental blame to go around. You, you, can't, you can't not talk about the injuries, right? I mean, look at, look at the corners we threw out there today on the field. Crossan, Cater Kohu, and Iggy. None of whom, I mean, Cater should be at best a nickel guy. None of them who right now should, should be starting. And you, you have to play all three because, you know, no, we, have, we have no guys. Offensive line, Armstead out. His backup goes out. Jackson's out. Eichenberg comes back. I, I thought he was done for the year. Apparently, I guess he wasn't. So you can't completely ignore the injuries because then obviously you have to get to the quarterback position. No to uh, and then and then it's like the, the, the Teddy thing. Has he played an entire game this year where he didn't get hurt? I guess. The the no, no. Well, he finished the Cincinnati game, but he hasn't played an entire game this year from start to finish where he didn't get hurt. And then he throws Skyler out there, who throws to Ingold, who's running routes with a club in his hand. Uh, they, they, the coaches did figure that out, though, for the last try. They had Ahmed out there. Um, so it was good to see them learn their mistakes. And that's the other thing. The, the, this is the most undisciplined team and it doesn't help, look, it doesn't help that they get called for things that the other teams don't get called for. I'm not, I'm not blaming all of this on the refs, but go watch the key play on the Patriots' last drive. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. How many Mississippis can you count where it was delay a game and they just let Mac Jones snap the ball with no flag? Meanwhile, if, if, if Tyreek is only shipped for a half a second instead of a full second, if it's a successful play, you can guarantee that late flag is coming out for illegal procedure on Tyreek. So everything, 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 really, if you think about it, with the exception of the health of our wide receivers and running backs, oddly enough, everything else is just completely falling apart. The secondary is is a shell of its former self. The only decent person out there right now is Holland, and he played the rest of the game. You could tell he's playing with one arm. He did something to his forearm. Um, the the corners, I mean, the 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 pass interference on Crossan was it, it, like if I was out there running with the guy, okay, at five six, 180 pounds, and 51 years old, if I was out there running with the guy, and it kept up with him, by the way, okay, Crossan was there in position, I would know if you see the receiver starting to look for the ball, you, you, you turn, and you look, and the ball's likely to be there. You don't tackle the guy before the ball's even there, how is this guy on the NFL roster? How? 
How? And he's got to be on the Dolphins NFL roster. So we were eight and three. We were we were talking about hey why not us why not us. And now you look at what we have and holy hell in a handbasket because we don't know what we have a quarterback in terms of can can Tua survive he hasn't survived the season yet without injury but now literally is it can 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 he make it through a game without no offense but getting scrambled eggs I mean the, the hit that he took the other day was just himself falling so can you really go into next season saying Tua's gonna be the guy when his when he's that fragile when he's that close to getting head injuries I, I don't I'm not talking about whether or not he can play or not. I'm, you know, whether or not he's competent at, at playing quarterback. I'm talking about it, can he physically do it. I, I don't think you go in the next season. You cannot go in the next season. And we are talking about next season, by the way. You cannot go into next season rolling all your dice on Tua staying healthy, and that's our plan. And please do not bring me back Teddy Bridgewater. We, we have to look at guys like Jimmy G, Derek Carr. I mean, I'm not saying those are saviors, but you know, Derek Carr, he was at least healthy most of the time, right? I mean, we need guys that can, first of all, just be consistently on the field. 49,000-year-old Tom Brady is out there slinging it, leading a comeback right now to lead his team to the playoffs. Meanwhile... Do not look at the list of quarterbacks that we have had. I have a Trent Green jersey. There are some of us who had hope in Cleo Lemon. Do you not understand how torturous the last 22 years have been? Jay, Jay Fiedler and Chad Pennington, until tour, were the only competent guys. No, no, Tannehill was competent. But nobody can stay on the field. I can't say you want Tannehill back because, you know, we, we beat, we used up Tannehill. Whatever Tannehill was, had a chance to be with our crappy offensive line, I mean, he just got a beaten and abused to the point where now he, you know, what a, it worked, are we, are we cursed? I thought, I thought, I thought Mercury said that it was until Shula died that the team was cursed. Well, I love you, Don, the Don, but Don, I love you, but take care of some business upstairs. What did we should not be cursed now. Well, we clearly still are. So we were eight and three, and now we're eight and eight. And does anybody think? Does anybody think that Buffalo is going to put a team out there next week that's going to beat the Patriots? I mean, does anybody think we're going to get? What difference does it make? We're, we're not going to beat the Jets. We don't have a quarterback. By the way, we don't have a field goal kicker either. Yeah, if Jason Sanders makes that kick, we, we just won the game with that late-minute drive. Of course, you know, Patriots defense would have been playing a little bit different. but <clears throat> So we don't have a quarterback, we don't have a field goal kicker. Um, the best corner we had in Xavier Howard, don't know what's going on with him. Jones at corner, couldn't play the entire season, don't know what's going on with him. We got a nice left, nice left tackle for the six games a year he can play. Our center is an amazing run blocker. He has not learned how to snap the ball. The rest of the guy, I mean, Eichenberg came back and it was like, woohoo, Eichenberg's back. We can put somebody like in the lineup that's like got two legs and two arms left intact. And then the penalties, the complete completely undisciplined penalties whether or not you think they're right to be calling against us I mean let's be honest the league kind of has an axe to grind with the Dolphins clearly okay I don't really think the referees are out there going hey it's the Dolphins call that I don't really think that's going on but if if you made that argument I, I, I wouldn't have a big argument against that either you know what I'm saying it's like, I wouldn't sit here and say it, but if you're saying it, I ain't going to argue against it because, you know, where's my evidence that it's not happening? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's a disaster. 
it's a disaster and we're going to actually finish off probably worse than we did last year and so and 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 and, and. now there there are some bright sides here okay um you have to get i'm just going to say jimmy g because i'm going to use jimmy g's name as him or somebody like him okay you go out you get somebody like that and and, and at least go into next year with Tua and Jimmy G Tua and Carr Tua and somebody that can play one game without getting hurt Teddy I'm sorry adios come on man he can't play a full game without getting knocked out literally how many times this year three one Two, two, I don't know. I give up. So, now, you look at the schedule at the beginning of the season. You saw January 1st at New England. You said, <laughs> L, right? I mean, let's be honest. We, we expected it to be 16 degrees and snowing. And, okay, we come in and it's 50 degrees. And we don't have QB1. And QB2, before he gets hurt, makes a fan fantastic throw if he was playing for the Patriots I don't know I mean sure if it was never open on the pick six it was never open on the pick six and um then we get stopped late fourth down in our own end and instead of going for it like he does so often Mike decides to punt the ball back to the Patriots and give our defense an opportunity we punted all the way down to the 10-yard line, and we proceed to allow them to go 90 yards for the game-securing touchdown, including them not being called for delay of game when, I mean, Kyle says delay a game, and I looked at the, and I'm like, yeah, it's delay a game, and then they snapped the ball. Now, it had, it, Kyle noticed it, said it. I looked, noticed it, said it, then Mac Jones snapped the ball. Do you know how long that is? It's at least two or three seconds. So hey, 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 are you gonna call? Are you gonna call? Are you gonna always oh, snap the ball? No call. But but not like Jason Sanders gonna make that field goal anyway, right? Right? We win the onside kick, which was a terrible onside kick. Dude, Jason Sanders single-handedly helped <laughs> helped lose this game. It was a terrible onside kick. It was awful. Okay? My dog could have run into the ball and dribbled it on the ground like that. It was terrible. So, uh, that's enough. I got to go get ready to do the Panthers stream. Talk about a, a, another team that can't win a game. So, uh, right now, Jets are losing to Seattle. I, no, no shot. Jets are going to lose that game. We knew they were going to lose that game. We will go into next week knowing that I think if we beat the Jets and the Patriots lose, we're in. Who's the quarterback? I can throw, by the way. I'm short. I don't know if I could take a hit. I might be good for a couple of drives. I, I got a good arm, though. I got a good arm. I ain't gonna, and I'm ambidextrous. I can throw with my right and left. Okay? Jeez. What an embarrassment. What an embarrassment. Right, Nate? Years ago, that would have been the end of the season. We have to suffer through one more torturous what-if hope because we can't get eliminated. We, we can't get eliminated tonight. So no matter what, we're going to go, oh, God, I'm just realizing that. No matter what, we have to go all week and into next weekend knowing that there's still a freaking chance. Oh, I'm going to be sick. There's still a chance. I'm going to be sick. We're going to have to do this all week. Oh, God. I got a Panther live stream in a half hour. I, I see you guys in a half hour or after that. or And I can't imagine what kind of hellfire and damnation I'm in for with that game.